Welcome back to Soccer News Center, where we bring you the latest updates in the world of football. In today's video, we'll be discussing Manchester United's decision to part ways with Mason Greenwood and the response from women's groups. On Monday, Manchester United announced that it would be most appropriate for Greenwood to resume his career away from Old Trafford. This decision came after a six month internal investigation and the dropping of an attempted rape case against the forward. While some have welcomed the decision, women's rights organizations have criticized the club for evading accountability. The Women's Equality Party, WEP, described the decision as less than the bare minimum and stated that it was made under pressure from social media and the press. They expressed disappointment that the club did not take responsibility for this situation or address how they are tackling violence against women and girls. The charity Women's Aid emphasized the importance of football clubs taking a clear stand against sexism and misogyny, as the way alleged domestic abuse cases are treated in clubs has a significant impact on public understanding. They called for action from the football industry, including mandatory training and clear sexual misconduct policies. In a joint statement, the Three Hijabis and the End Violence Against Women Coalition applauded the decision but highlighted that the issue goes beyond individual players. They called for accountability from the industries, clubs, leagues, and academies surrounding them, stating that focusing solely on the actions of players allows institutions to evade responsibility for enabling a culture of silence and impunity. Manchester United stated that the wishes, rights, and perspective of the alleged victim, along with the club standards, were taken into account in making the decision. They acknowledged the difficulties with Greenwood resuming his career at the club and will now work with him to achieve that outcome away from Old Trafford. This decision has sparked an important conversation about the treatment of alleged domestic abuse cases in football and the responsibility of clubs and institutions. It remains to be seen how this will impact future actions and policies within the sport. That's all for today's update. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.